Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go over to stage 3 in level 2. More desert as you would expect, you know, in a desert world. And look how weird this one is. See that? It's like sand blowing a ball of sorts. Almost looks like a beach ball rock in the background. Kirby is great with its abstract designs, and I guess a stone is better than nothing, I suppose. Although, that umbrella might may have been a little bit more handy for the situation. Ah, whatever. Wait, actually, do I want that rock power up for what's to come? That does seem to be something that I might need. <laughs> so I might want to reset this segment here and see. There you are. And hello. Now I can get stuff that's like in here, because I can just break through the blocks. And that's the whole purpose of the stone power and that... Well, sort of. <laughs> uh, like here, I believe I can break the... No, I can't break the also. Oh wait, I, I, this is how you break these. Silly me. <laughs> and there's absolutely nothing of interest on there. Dang it! I want some energy spheres, and I intend on getting them no matter what. Hello! Energy sphere? Energy... No, just some stars. I got plenty of lives already. Well, I got seven, but still, that's plenty for a Kirby game. <laughs> um, really? Nothing more? Okay, well, whatever. So, now we're climbing up for whatever reason. Look out for stuff above you. This might be a place for the umbrella power-up, actually. And if I go up... Can I go back down? No, I can't. Oh boy. <laughs> I really hope I choose the right path. Well, there wasn't any um, energy spheres on, on those sides anyway, so I guess it didn't really matter. I would definitely prefer a sword over the stone power-up for certain, especially since it's coming up here. Hello there. Don't you dare try and sneak up on me. Those uh, enemies there, they remind me a lot of the Scarfies because of their movement pattern, you know, like how slow they are and they're floating, they home in on you, stuff like that. Uh, that's so you can pretty much treat them as a Scarfy. Well, as a Scarfy that is chasing after you, not as a standalone Scarfy, of course. The standalone Scarfies are just sitting there and being cute. Oh my! <laughs> um, I would like to... Yeah, that thing. Mm, I just want to see what's in this catacomb-like area. Tornado power-up. This is new to you. All you have to do is hold the button to gain height and release it to go down. However, it is very annoying to control, as you'll see. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of like flail all over the place. It's 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 a powerful power up, but it's not it's not like versatile or practical, so to speak. I mean, just look at me bouncing around there with very little control, and yeah, you get the idea. Be very careful on how, to, how you use that. Another kind of power up here is a new one, the high jump power. You can also get it from that bubble, apparently. Just press woo, the jump button and hold it, charge it, and you can jump up. And apparently I need to break through this to... Hello there, another energy sphere. They're just being handed to me left and right now. <laughs> when you're doing this super jump, high jump thingy here, you are invincible from enemy attacks, so you don't have to worry about that. So those Gordo enemies, nah, not gonna hurt you in the slightest. We got Cutter, we got the high jump, maximum tomato, that's... Nah, I don't even need that. Uh, I assume since they're giving me power as a boss is coming up, so I'm... Uh, I'll take the fire. Okay. Go! <laughs> that was strange. It's just like barely... I mean, I barely missed it, and then I barely uh, avoid taking a hit. And yeah, this is going to be a pretty easy fight with the fire power up. It's King Do. It's just a giant wild do, essentially. It's got this charge attack thing, and it's just so embarrassingly weak that, well, I guess it's got that too, uh, energy sphere of death of sorts, but just look how predictable its movements are. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not gonna hurt you in the slightest if you are paying attention. <laughs> Unlike what I was doing there, but that's okay. And I could... Didn't pay attention again. I could also do this as well, which is probably safer than the, the typical method. And as I've shown you before, whenever you defeat a boss, you should take its power because you'll probably need the power to get something. Hopefully an energy sphere. Hello, barrel cannon, potentially from Donkey Kong Country. Uh, or at least that's what it's inspired from, I would assume. Woohoo! 
obviously the thing wasn't to get that, it was probably to get this. Oh, wow! There's actually an energy sphere right where that bomb was. Surprisingly, it didn't explode when the bomb exploded. Well, I shouldn't say that the energy sphere would explode. I would say that it would be disintegrated by the bomb blast. Anyway, we got these kinds of moving cannons now, and you gotta time your shots like that. Just take a few practice runs across here. Uh, you can tell which cannon is coming up next, obviously, by the way it's pointing. Uh, some of them are stationary, some of them only move in certain directions, and I believe I want to go up the center. I think... Oh, no, no, no! I seen that energy sphere off to the right, so that means I did want to go up here. Yeah, that's the last one of the stage, too. That makes me quite happy. And... Oh, it goes around that way. Otherwise, I would have got that time on my first rotation. My rotato. Woo! And there's the end of the stage. <laughs> the thing over here, there's a, there's a whip, I guess, if you want a whip. Uh, okay. <laughs> and some food, of course. Oh, boy, this is not going to go well. One, 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 one. No! I am never going to get it. I have no faith in my skills. <sighs> okay, next stage. <laughs> That went very well. Complete 100% run on every stage so far without missing anything, and that's probably gonna jinx me on this stage. And low key. Oh yeah, uh, the Scarfy enemies chase you when you're holding objects like keys, so... Yeah, you might want to be careful with that. It's a little introduction to how Scarfies react, and I believe there's more to come up here, like this guy. Okay, and then watch. See that? He stopped chasing you once you unlock the door with it. Hoppy Brothers Jr. Do I want your bomb power up? I don't believe I showed bomb yet, so I'll show bomb. You can drop bombs by holding down and pressing the bomb button. Well, the attack button. <laughs> the one. You can throw them just by double tapping the button. If you hold the button, you can change your direction and fling it further. And that's pretty much the bomb power up in a nutshell. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you and I said I wasn't going to be explaining the powers earlier, but uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I actually think I need the bomb power up for a energy sphere coming up soon. So that would be a good thing as well to keep along here. Oh, and when you're dashing, you can roll bombs like a bowling ball. That's pretty neato. <laughs> um, there's fire power up, but I don't need that for sure. Uh, Broom Hatter, I definitely don't need you, nor do I need you, Spike Man. Spike Top. Oh. Why doesn't someone bolt down that cannon? Um... I'm going to... Yeah, I think it's in here, actually, that has the energy sphere that I'm thinking of. Yes! Okay, what you want to do is first clear the way. So, take care of Kaboo down there. <laughs> why, why are you so hard to take care of, Kaboo? I would like to drop... There we go. <laughs> uh, okay, now get ready. Just drop a bomb and run, 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 That didn't work, did it? <laughs> it was just outside the bomb blast, dang it. That that's what you want to do is activate the switch and run to it. Well, I should say activate the switch with the bomb as you're getting close to it. Because that uh, wall opens and closes really quickly. And only the bomb power up, or at least that I know of, can get that. Anyway, continuing on this weird sand conveyor belt of sorts. Yeah, I know it's a f supposedly a flowing sand. And ooh, we're in spooky dark town here. Better grab this candle, which strangely gets brighter as you grab onto it. I don't get that myself. But don't waste too much time with this candle, as it'll gradually burn down, as candles do, which is actually a realistic concept. And that's pretty surprising, given that this is a game based in a fantasy world. <laughs> I mean, the very intro of the game showed a rainbow that was in a loop. Rainbows don't loop, they're a fraction of light, dang it, then... Ah, I shouldn't be questioning the game logic anyway. Wait, wait, how do I get in there? Oh, I get it from... I mean, I get up there from the top, okay. And then I probably... Blast my way through there, and... Voila! Woohoo! No, I want the candle! Why did you drop it? You do not need to drop it to collect an energy sphere. Uh, I believe I can keep my candle through doors. So that's what I'm going to do, so if there's more darkness- Oh, it, it automatically burnt out! Dang it! What a rip-off! Shouldn't have got that candle at the dollar store. Um... Boss coming, boss coming, I sense boss. I'm gonna have to keep my bomb power up. 
Otherwise, I'd recommend the cutter. I always recommend usually ranged powers more than ones that are close up for bosses because it's just, well, simply safer. And I gotta love how there's, like, fireworks coming from your bombs as you throw them. I think that's a throwback to Kirby 64, actually. Oh, come on, you got, like, a sliver of health there. And I'm probably gonna need this power, so I'm gonna take it. Um, these lava blocks that you've seen over here... Yeah, you can cool them off and then break them apart with uh, your water power. It's pretty neato. And you can use this to collect whatever is inside this stuff here. But I don't believe there's an energy sphere over here, but there is one coming up ahead that you do need the power for. So, oh, that, no, I just lost it. And I can't go back and get, get it again because, yeah, the, oh, but, oh, there's another water guy there. Well, never mind. <laughs> the game designers planned that out well. Okay, and woo! And that's kind of weird. They, they dropped off after I got the one off. That doesn't really make so much sense. Ah, never mind. I think it would be harder to get back than to get through there, because you know, you have that running running starts. You get what I mean. And I got some cannons blowing boulders for whatever reason now. Uh, oh, I remember what I, needed, what I need a little bit later to get something. It isn't... That I need the water power up to get through into a locked area. It's a this it's this gemstone thingy here. Uh, when you're holding this thing, it is it makes you completely invisible and you can't be touched by things. You can also pass through these blocks right here, which allows you to get into these secret areas. And you also can't be hurt by other things, which is kind of strange. I mean, you think a, a power this broken would you you know like have some sort of limitation to it? But alas, that is not the case, and you'll automatically drop that thing as you leave it, so that'll activate those bats from moving around, I suppose. But, that, since you just can re-grab that thing, it's just like, why? Why even bother? Well, I guess it ran out there, but still. I guess the gimmick what there was to get to the um, energy sphere before your crystal ran out of its power. And, as you see the object here, it's just to clear your way with the sword cutting things. Hello, Ultra Sword! Woo! See this giant rope? See it? It's got stars. And it has just been turned into sewing thread. <laughs> Brilliant. Awesome sauce. And as you may have expected, whenever you get a superpower, you'll eventually come across one of those portals that will lead you into one of those black and white areas. Or at least that's how it seems to be most of the time, you know, with the sphere doomer and whatnot at the end. That's just how things roll in this game. I love this thing. There's also a fish sword that you can get randomly. I haven't really noticed or seen if I got it, which probably means that I haven't gotten it yet because it's one of the most humorous powers. Uh, and I definitely like to show that off somewhere in this walkthrough eventually. It's like, it's like a fish with spines on its back, and it's it's one of the ultra swords, uh, extra sword powers. It's more of a, you know, joke thing than anything. It's still just as power powerful as the normal sword. And yeah, we're in the black and white world. Still freaking awesome music in this area. Well, in these areas, I should say. Can't go wrong with this. I could listen to this song for hours and probably have by now. <laughs> Uh, this one's pretty straightforward, other than the beginning, where it sort of had you in a corner and had you move towards the wall. But yeah, it's pretty simple, you just clear the way of everything. <laughs> just dropping cannons off into the abyss. Not that one, though, it just goes into a corner, which still makes it pretty much useless, because it shoots itself into the wall. Oh, no, 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 no! Whew. Okay, that last part was a little bit frightening, but anyway. What do we have here? Probably the cutter. I love the sword for most other cases, but ranged items for bosses, definitely good. I'm just going to be doing ye old boomerang power to dish out loads of damage, and hopefully not break those blocks under me, because, you know, that's down as death, and we all know that's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, and this is obviously the fire version of the sphere doomer. Uh, it's not, uh, not, not really all that special, it's still just as predictable as the other ones, except for that last move there, that was a 
That was a pretty strange move on its part, because it rarely does that um, fire charge attack in the middle of the screen. It usually does it off on the edges. So that's... Oh! <laughs> I just ran right into it. <laughs> mm, and I think it's just about done here. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Give me my energy spheres! Woo! Another successful 100% complete stage run. And that likely means that the end of the stage is at hand. Boop! Aw, look how cute he is! Uh, why did... Oh, I'm going the other way. I'm so <laughs> That was dumb. Uh, anything? Nothing hidden? Okay. Just wanted to check for the fun of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh! Go, 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 go! Ugh! Well, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Woohoo! More awesome, cute, curvy fun to come.